What up, Rasa? Welcome to my channel, Tama Voxel. Tony Buck speaking. And uh, I'm just going to be um, talking about the uh, Earl Spence versus Ugas three belt unification fight from uh, Saturday night. And, uh, you know, I'm just going to tell you my thoughts. Of what I thought and uh, how I seen it going down, uh, and of the other fights as well. But after the Earl Spence breakdown and all that, uh, and then we're also gonna talk about the confrontation of uh, Benavides versus the cowardly move uh, Charlo uh, came at him with being Benavides with was with his son and all and charlo came with his goons and all that but uh yeah we're gonna be breaking the earl spence fight down man uh, uh don't forget to like comment and subscribe and all that you know comment your thoughts but don't forget to to do those things because that does help the channel out so you know uh Hopefully everybody does that so I continue the support but um and the video you see playing I'm just you know it's just a sparring video that I have but um I'm just playing that in the background for uh to just have something because I don't wanna post showtime content and get it flagged and stuff like that so you know uh this is what I We'll have to do right now, so uh, you know, at least it's some sparring, um, uh, some of my sparring, so you know, I know what it is to get hit in the face, too. So I'm not just talking, man. Uh, but, anyways, let's get into the Earl Spence breakdown, uh, how he's seen it, uh, whoa, well, and how everybody's seen it, but you know, the first round they came out swinging. You know, pretty aggressively, uh, Ugas and Spence both going to the body right away. You know, uh, Spence with the uppercuts and some hooks and and uh, and some to the head and and Ugas as well. You know, uh, some body shots here and there and aiming uh, for the head on Spence. But that's how uh, round one went down, and round two was more of the same. You know. Uh, just a little faster paced and uh but both real started off real good in the beginning uh you know uh but spends just that the truth man uh you know he just non stop uh, body attack he just broke down Ugas down uh Ugas was throwing some nice shots too, but he wasn't throwing enough. Uh, you know? So like in round three, uh it was it was some of the same. Uh just more more shots being landed by by Spence and uh just Ugas, you know, not not really doing anything major to to get on the cards even but uh you know it was it was all spent uh through the faith uh but that's when um you know it was close to getting KO'd uh, until he hit well until he lost his uh mouthpiece and uh and got caught lacking cuz Ugas almost took him out of there he he wasn't he wasn't aware of his surroundings so uh so he thought he was gonna get saved by by the ref but uh he did not he almost got knocked out uh and but boy uh boy did uh Spence come back aggressively uh after that uh after that shot by Ugas, uh, he felt so disrespected, but also being mad at himself for for being caught slipping like that. Like you should, you should not slip and 
and space out while you're in a fight because, uh, I mean, no, let's keep your hands up at all times and have your attention real uh, good on your opponent because he's going to be aiming for your head. And uh, and my bad, it was not uh, round, the fifth round where it happened uh, where Spence got uh, his mouthpiece punched out, but uh, August caught him slipping, but it was in the sixth round, you know, but um, I just confused it, but the seventh round is where uh, where he comes back real aggressive, being mad at himself, and, uh, you know, just being caught slipping by, by August. Uh, you know, he came back and, and really put a hurting on Nugas, though. Uh, and that's where uh, he, um, as Spence, does the damage on the eye. He does the damage on the eye, and from there, Nugas does not does not come back even though he 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 does hit Earl with some pretty good shots but uh that that swelling on the eye you know was uh was a game changer for Spence because uh once he got that going he was you know he, he was gonna have a one eyed Uga so man it was just gonna be tearing Nugas up and that's what happened uh in round eight, you got the doctor to look at it, uh, you know, but he was taking so much punishment, August, to the body, just to the head, to the eye, to the all around the face. But he was getting beat up in there, uh, you know, and they end up looking at the eye and he only had he only had the ninth round to try to get a knockout. He didn't know that, but I mean, he didn't. Like, he should have just been trying to knock Earl in those last rounds because, I mean, he should have known, like, he was going to need something big. But, I mean, obviously he's going to have caution and not get knocked out as well. So, uh, so yeah, man, he, uh, August survived to the 10th, but brutally getting beat up, beat up until... Uh, you know, they stop it in the 10th. The doctor says, takes a look at his eye and, you know, says, no mas, no more. Uh, they're not going to keep going. Uh, and, you know, Ugas got mad, but, I mean, you should have you should have tried harder uh, in the rounds leading up to the 10th because, I mean, I don't know, it's the eye, you know, just the eye is a bad place, a bad spot to get, to be getting hit, you know, and the doctor, and a good doctor, he's not going to let you go in there, so that's what happened, and, uh, you know, Spence, Spence wins, and, and, uh, and gets that WBA strap, third unified belt, now he has the say in the really has all the marbles to the if you want to go to Crawford's table and try to discuss a a fight Spence does have all the marbles so like I said uh he will have the upper hand in negotiation and now if it doesn't happen and Spence tries to uh tries to make the fight actually make the fight and it doesn't get made because of Crawford now. Then he can't blame nobody but himself. Uh, after seeing this fight versus Ugas, you know Ugas, uh, he's a dom. He was a dominant champion. Uh, you know, uh, he in his reign of being champ, which wasn't too long. But you know his the lead up to the championship belts and all that. You know he he beat some. Good guy, so, I mean, uh, but wasn't no match for Spence, Earl the Spence, uh, so, yeah, man, uh, 
Ugas Ugas put up a fight, but it wasn't enough. Uh, you know, I I said uh, I had Spence winning in the 11th to uh, 12th round. Uh, I could see the KO, and uh, you know they stopped it in the in the 10th round. You know, not far off, but something that I expected a dominant performance by Spence. Uh, if Ugas would have came and and B Spence, I would have been, you know, surprised, but obviously it didn't go down like that, you know, for the Cuban. But either way, he put up a good fight, and uh, it was crazy because during the fight, I I seen like a, I forgot what round it was from, like four to like the ninth. There was like something going down in the audience, uh, and I think it was a uh, uh, Charlo and Benavides. Uh, because after there was videos of them uh, like arguing, going back and forth, but but yeah, you know, uh, PBC being a PBC Showtime fight, you know, all the PBC guys were gonna go, and obviously, you know, uh, the Charlos were gonna be there since that's their city, you know. T uh, well, not their city, but they're from Houston, but uh, that's their state, being a Texas native. Same as Spence and uh, one of the Charlos, Twin Charlos, uh, or I forgot, I think his mother when the trains was Spence, but uh, yeah, you know, they had to go support, and w which I was saying in the, in the, in the beginning of the video, I thought it was cowardly of, uh, of Ma going up. With his, with all his family and friends, you know, uh, ganging up on uh, Benavides, uh, which wouldn't be bad, but, you know, they kind of, I don't know, they kind of were, like, pressing, like, when, when like, uh, Benavides' son was, was close, you know what I'm saying, like, you have a y'all came in a pack pack of of goons versus uh you know uh Benavides' dad and like girl like nah you know what I'm saying uh but but man if it would have went crazy Benavides would have knocked them all out <laughs> you know what I'm saying and uh and they uh I mean Charlo had had the bigger dude, but you know Benavides had pretty uh, big dudes uh, himself, and with just by himself, probably like I said, knock all them boys out. But I mean, I don't get it though. Uh, why would he Ma go over there and try to press Benavides when he's the one that turned the fight down? Is he gonna want to make a fight? He don't want to make a fight right now because I mean he got to sign. Fight with Suleki or what? Yeah, the the one that been beat by everybody already. Like weird, you know what I mean? Uh, that's uh, Benavides is going for a for a interim title, you know, versus uh, David Lemieux, which I'm gonna be making a video on that pretty soon. But uh, I mean. Benavides ain't out there. Yeah, he says he wants to fight him and all that, but Charlo don't even want to do that. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, he says all this nonsense. Benavides got to be vaccinated. Got to be, I don't know what age. I don't know. It's just, he's most confusing because how can you say you don't want to fight him, but you're trying to start shit when you know you're not going to fight the Mexican monster, the Bandera Roja, the AZ native, Red Flag, David Benavides. You know what I'm saying? No one wants to smoke. No one wants to smoke with Benavides. Nobody. Uh, but hopefully he gets the fights. Um, 
that he wants soon. You know, he's he's a young cat. Uh, but yes, if by Ma doing this stunt, um, we'll see we'll see what it goes to. But I think he's just hyping up his fight for his fight uh, versus Sulek. You know what I'm saying? I'm ju- I'm just seeing it as he's trying to hype up his fight, get promo out of the the hype, you know, being being out there. But I just I don't see I don't see what's the point. If you don't want to fight him, why are you going over there acting hard just because you're in his city? But he man, if you really want if you like that Charlo, why don't you get in the ring, bruh? You know what I'm saying? Cause real steppers only step to the ones that they know they will fight and only and and not afraid. Like Benavides and the Canelos. You know what I'm saying? The Your brother, Twin Charlo, uh fifty four unified chant. They spans, you know, they fight to fight. I mean Ma I mean, he he's fought. Don't get me wrong, he's fought good fighters too. But he just has. He's not. He's not keeping it G by uh, keep fighting like elites. I don't know. Everybody says Canelo ain't fighting this, this, and that. Who's ma, who's Ma fighting? Suleki. Who's that? If you couldn't get Mungia, you know what I'm saying? Like that's. That's a dumb fight too That I don't know why it didn't go down Dope fight I mean You know Dumb Dumb Stupid good fight But it should have went down But he did it uh, well, For whatever reason You know uh, Ma should have Gone out there and tried to get Somebody else I don't know uh, Andrade You know what I'm saying He didn't have a fight Or if No he does have a fight with the uh, at 168 But I mean Somebody else You know what I mean uh, But Ma's not fighting The elites As You know As he wa- He knows Well he knew He was gonna get the Canelo fight He probably still is But you know After Canelo Completes his contract At the zone or whatever But I mean uh, As of now Ma is fighting the Sulekis. I don't think he's going to fight anybody of no until he gets a Canelo fight. And whatever, you know what I'm saying? If he wants to do that, he's going to get be easier. He's going to get be easier because, you know what I'm saying, Benavides, if after Lemieux, you know, he takes on more tough comp, you know, that just says if Triple G, you know, he might go versus Canelo next if depending if Canelo wins that. But, you know what I'm saying, they're just fighting good. Fighters, Ma needs to step up and get a good fight. Because it's not looking good for him, man. Because he's pulling stunts and he don't even want to fight these guys, man. He pulled up to the Mexican monster and didn't want to fight him before that. So what's the whole thing? What'd it do? But you know what I'm saying? That was that out of that confrontation. Uh, but you also had... Uh, you know, Pitbull, Pitbull on the card versus Gamboa. Uh, Pitbull being a problem at the 35 division. Um, you know, because, I mean, Tank couldn't knock him out. Pretty much Tank, everybody knocking everybody out. Um, Gamboa is a tough customer, as y'all seen. Devin Haney couldn't put him away. But Cruz did on the quickness. Uh, but, you know, Cruz is just going to be going up uh, like the Spuma, you feel. And uh, hopefully he keeps getting good fights uh, at the 135 division. But, you know, that was that. Was, uh, that. Uh, Cruz got the win. Uh, Josecito Lopez lost the... Uh, a fight versus uh, up and coming, you know, young blood, uh, Crowley, you know what I'm saying, uh, uh, talented fighter, uh, you know, a, a durable, and 
somewhat slick and good boxing, man. So, uh, I mean, I don't see him doing anything, but, uh, you know, he'll be he'll be a good test out there for guys. Uh, I don't think he'll do anything in the welterweight division, but, uh, but you know, he, he be uh, a veteran in Lopez, so uh, a good win nonetheless, but, you know, uh, now going then on, let's see what what's in store for for Cody Crowley. But you know, I went all the way to the opening show, but it was Cruz, and then the the exciting, exciting, exciting. Uh, also, one thirty five pounder, um, Josue Valenzuela, aka the Flash El Rayo. You know what I'm saying? Coming in with the lightning speed KOs as he. KO'd, you know, former WBC champion, uh, Olympic um, fighter, vet fighter in Francisco Vargas, you know. He uh, knocked him out in the first round. So I didn't see much, but uh, Rayu, you know, he's been calling everybody out. He wants all the smoke with all the top guys, and, and if they don't fight him now, you know... Uh, He's gonna get better in the future because you know he's uh he's in the Benavides camp, you know, and and those boys know how to fight. So um yeah, just keep an eye out on Ray Valenzuela, you know. The future at, at 135. And um and yeah, that was that was it of the card, but you know, overall action packed card, you know, with all the from the Crowley Lopez to the Valenzuela Vargas to the Cruz Gamboa and and uh, especially the main event, you know, Spence and Ugas. Um, good, good um, week in the boxing, but you've seen what Spence did. You know, he's a three division, three division, uh, three, three alphabet belt champion in the four War belt era, you know, he needs one more to become a disputed at welterweight. It has not been done for a real long time. I don't even know when was the last time it was done. So, uh, so yeah, uh, that was that was the end of this video. But uh, that was what went down uh, this past weekend. Like I've been saying, don't forget to like the video, to comment, to share, and to subscribe to the channel. You know, uh, thanks for everybody's support. That my works out, you know, Tony Bugs. Till next video.